Hello everyone. In this step-by-step -step video, let's see how to use the PHP MyAdmin module in WAM server and how to create a database and then let's see how to in create a table and then how to insert data into that table. So let's dive in. Alright, first make sure that WAM server is running. Now open a browser and in the address bar type this address localhost slash php my admin slash and hit enter okay now you will see a login screen where the default username is root okay and leave the password empty there is no password and give the server as mysql and click on login okay so this is the interface you will see so php my admin is a web interface or it's a module which provides a web interface to mysql server okay on the right hand side you can see database server details you can see the server name you can see the ip address you can see the server name localhost and you can see the username root and also you can see mysql dbms version okay and then you can also see web server details like apache its version etc etc now let's see how to create a database now click on databases now it is asking to provide a database name so let's give a database name so the name i am giving is mydb and then click on create okay so the database is created and now it is asking to create a table but first let's see something else click on server click on databases now you can see the list of databases and you can see mydb which we just created so click on mydb let's create a new table give the table name as users and let's give three columns and click on create now, now it is asking to provide the details for columns so we have three columns let's give some names to the columns so first column is id second column is name third column is email now let's provide data types so id is int name is where care email is also where care now let's let's give the length 30 characters per name and 30 characters for email okay click on save now let's make the id column as primary key okay so select id and click on primary option okay it is made as primary key you can see the key symbol here right now let's click on browse uh, before that click on server databases click on mydb now you can see users table and also you can see the insert option here click on insert to insert data so let's insert 10 rows of data let's give the values for first row so id is one name is let's say ramesh email is ramesh at the rate of gmail.com now let's give second row data okay id is two mm, before that let's give 10 rows here so here you can give 10 so that we insert 10 rows of data right okay second row name is suresh and email is suresh at the rate of gmail.com right third row so id is 3 name is roger and email is roger at the rate of gmail.com fourth row so name is harshita and email is harshita at the rate of gmail.com okay fifth row name is john and email is john at the rate of gmail.com sixth row name is rubin and email is rubin at the rate of gmail.com okay seventh row lalita and email is lalita at the rate of gmail.com so three more rows to go eighth row so name is ravia and email is ravia at the rate of gmail.com okay ninth row Kiran, Kiran at the rate of gmail.com. So now the last row, 
row number 10 mahesh mahesh at the rate of gmail.com okay now we have specified all 10 rows of data now click on go okay all 10 rows are inserted now let's see the data in the table click on browse okay now you can see all 10 rows of data that are inserted into the table users okay so this is how you can use php my admin to interact with mysql dbms and create a database table and then insert data into the table so please like and share the video thank you